hello guys in this video we are going to discuss javascript local storage object we are going to discuss javascript local storage object its methods with an example and we will learn a lot about javascript local storage object in this video this is one of the common requirement for web developer to use a local storage of the web browser to store the data for example whenever you want to reduce a number of calls to the server you can get the data from the server and you can store in a storage of the browser and you can use it later so that you can reduce the number of call to the server all right so this is one of the common requirement for web developer to store the data in into the storage of or the browser and you can use it later okay the local storage object is a type of web storage that allows JavaScript websites and apps to store and access the data right in the browser with no expiration date. This means that a data stored in a browser will persist even after the browser has been closed and the local storage property object is a read-only. Okay, So let me uh, demonstrate the usage of local storage object with an example so that you can understand what exactly the local storage object and how we can store the data into local storage object and how we can access the data from the local storage object of the browser just open a new tab in a browser like this and enter any domain here I, and I just right click and inspect okay and go to the console and here go to the application section and look at here the storage so this is the storage of a browser and it has uh, different sections like local storage session storage index db web sql cookies etc and we are going to focus on local storage in this video and in the next video i'm going to show you the usage of session storage object all right so just expand local storage here and this is the domain right we are accessing from the browser right here and what i will do is so if you click on this link you can see these are the local storage okay so data stored in a local storage for this particular domain or particular website all right and if you want to clear uh, the local storage of this particular website or domain what you can do is right click here and click uh, right click and clear it okay this will clear all the data from the local storage object of this website or the domain okay now what we will do we will insert some data into the local storage of this website so go to the console and here just type local storage dot set item so set item is the method we can use to store a data into a local storage and set uh, a set item method uh, has key value parameters for example so here we provide a key as a first name and value as Ramesh and just hit enter so this will store key value pair in a local storage for example so look at here key is first name and value is Ramesh okay so this is how we can store a local you know data into a local storage object of the browser okay so you can directly uh, you know do a coding in a browser like this that i have just you know shown you javascript local storage object has these methods or these apis we can use to perform different operations on local storage object all right set item method we can use set item method to add key value pair to the local storage object and we can use get item method to retrieve a value by key from the local storage we can use remove item to remove a particular item by key from the local storage we can use clear method to clear all the local storage and we can use key method to you know to uh, retrieve nth key of local storage so i am going to demonstrate you with the usage of all these methods with an example okay so let's have a look into the syntax of using these methods so syntax of uh, you know set item method is like this so we can just 
pass key value pair to the set method and reading data from local storage is just we just need to pass a key to the get item method so this will return a value and removing a data from the local storage is a straightforward so we can just use a remove item method by passing key here and clearing all the data from local storage is also straightforward so we can use a clear method to clear all the local storage data and we can use a key method to you know retrieve a nth key, nth, nth key of uh, the local storage that I will demonstrate you with an example okay so let us see the usage of all these methods and we will we'll see a lot of examples okay so let's first see the usage of set item method so this method name implies allows you to store values in a local storage object so it takes two parameter the key and value and in this example first name is the key and Ramesh is the value and notice that local storage can only store a uh, strings okay it doesn't store any arrays and objects for example if you want to store a javascript object like this so this is the javascript object and whenever you try to store a javascript object into a local storage you first need to convert a javascript object into a string by using json.stringify method like this all right so if you try to directly uh, you know store a javascript object then how it looks like so let me demonstrate this so let me copy this snippet and let us execute it from the browser so just paste here and right now we are storing a key as id and value as a javascript object in a string format all right so let hit enter and let's go to the application section here and in a local storage so look at here the key is id and value is the string okay now if you want to insert a directly object so let me show you that and i say key as id1 and value as javascript object and hit enter and go to the application and local storage so look at here id1 and the object so how it looks like it is not readable right so remember you can store only strings in a, a local storage okay so this is the usage of local storage dot set item method so let us see the usage of local storage dot get item method okay so we can use get item method to access a data stored in a browser's local storage object for example we have stored a id with a user object as a key right so let's go ahead and let's retrieve a user object so just type local storage dot get item and here just pass key as id so this will return a user string object like this so look at here so one more important thing is you can use a windows object with a local storage object because all the you know all the variables functions and global objects are automatically bind to the windows object so local storage is also a global object so you can use with a windows object for example window dot local storage dot get item and here you can just pass a key as id so this will return a value okay so this is the usage of get item method so let us see the usage of remove item method so we can use remove item method to remove an item from a key so let's remove a user object that we have just stored by using set item method all right so just type windows dot local storage dot just call remove item method and here we need to pass a key so key is the id and here we go so let's verify from the local storage section so we'll get here uh, the entry is destroyed or entry is deleted from the local storage all right 
So this is how we can use a remove item method to remove a particular key value pair from the local storage. Great. So now let us see the usage of clear method. So we can use clear method to clear the entire storage of all the records for that particular domain. So it does not receive any parameter. Okay. So for example, here is the domain that is javagash.net and we are going to clear all the data stored in the local storage of this particular website or domain all right to do that we can use a clear method just type windows dot local storage dot clear and it doesn't require it doesn't uh, you know receive any parameters so just hit enter and let's verify yeah here we go so look at here the data is uh, you know deleted from the local storage of javaguides.net website great now let's insert few of the records and let's use a key method of local storage object so let me uh, store a key value pair like first name and uh, value as Ramesh and let me enter one more record last name for the and let's verify in a local storage so look at here first name last name is uh, you know stored in a local storage of uh, javagash.net website and now we use a key method okay so key method comes in a handy in a situation where you need to loop through the keys and allows you to pass a number or index to the local storage to retrieve a name of the key for example so here first name and last name are the keys right so i want to retrieve a key that is a first name so what i can do is i can use uh, local storage dot key method and i i just pass a index like one so this will give me a first name and if i pass zero it will give me a last name last name as a key okay so this is the usage of key all right so far i have demonstrated uh, all the methods of local storage object with an example i hope you found this video useful in the next video i am going to show you how to use a session storage with, a, with all the its methods with an example all right subscribe to my youtube channel and whenever i will publish a new videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video